Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. My word, we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers. That is insane. Thank you so much to all of you who supported the channel. So on to the review today and it's of the delightful looking Agalos, Agilos. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the uh, pronunciation of that one to be fair. Agalos, meaning angel, is an unashamed homage to the classic 1986 Wonder Boy games of old. It quietly dropped onto PC a year or so ago and slowly garnered critical attention. Glenn and I saw this and were certainly both intrigued, especially since we've got a couple of excellent remasters already on the Switch, such as the excellent Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, which showed how a remaster should be done. We both agreed as long as Agalos treads the line between Love Letter and straight up rip off carefully, it could be great. Let's find out. You begin your journey by saving a princess, a good old fashioned princess saving. It's happening. You slay the monster and she hides in your house. It just wouldn't happen this way anymore, would it? The SJW Brigade would demand otherwise, but guess what? It's okay. Everyone's okay and it's a delightfully simplistic affair. There's a big bad evil trying to break Oblivion style into the world and yep, you guessed it, Johnny on the spot, Mr. Right Place, Right Time is here to save the day. To be fair, if I walked into a castle and they asked me to travel the land to find four elemental stones to force the denizens of the dark world back, I'd probably take a rain check. Thankfully, our stoic and silent hero is all over it. I mean, let's be honest, he was just out for a walk in the woods wearing a full suit of armor and carrying a sword. He was definitely hoping for this. Probably taking a stroll every day for a year, just waiting for this moment. Result. Absolutely nothing is a surprise in terms of story and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Simple and charming, but about as imaginative as a pair of Christmas socks. Still, they are bloody comfortable to be fair. Story scores 14 out of 20. The controls are really tight here. Everything responds instantaneously, which is great as there is a good deal of platforming here. Playing the game felt like reading a favorite book. You kind of have a muscle memory, despite never having actually played this particular title. Oh, that corridor there isn't on the main track. Well, that's the way I want to go then. Hidden chest, fantastic. Heart container to boost my total, even better. The real hook of the game is a lack of urgency, despite overly dramatic storyline. In fact, maybe that's something we've lost over time. When games lay the world out before you and you can meander through them without the constant threat of death, more on that later. And these enemies are straightforward for the most part and death is only a minor XP setback. I found myself feeling much more relaxed playing this one and much like its inspiration, it is a joy. Herbs can be carried which allow you a single revive if you fall in combat, while you can also spend the copious amounts of treasure, which falls after you kill an enemy in different sizes to show its value, to buy a few different sets of armor and weapons. These each offer some higher form of protection, with some being context-based, such as the aqua armor that allows a much greater defense underwater. Still, this samurai armor is just straight up badass. The overworld map is pretty weak if I'm honest and does little if nothing to give you any direction through the world but you will generally be able to find your way eventually. Environments are varied and you'll find several different ones as you go about your quest to find the different elemental stones. I think they're stones anyway, they're always bloody stones or crystals aren't they? It's a 50-50. Your quest will take you to several temples or shrines that are filled with quite interesting platform sections. You'll gain new abilities which aid you with these and you'll rarely feel lost or unsure of your next move. If you do, however, there is a handy mystic who will give you some useful tips. At the end of a temple, you guessed it, a boss fight. They are enjoyable and just challenging enough to feel rewarding when you defeat them. Any Cuphead veterans will laugh in their face, although difficulty is not the point here, you should also note there is a hard mode, which cranks it up substantially. I was in for the more chill experience this time around and it suited me just fine. I was like the Wonder Boy version of Bob Marley, taking everything in my stride. If you're a fan of Wonder Boy and in particular the earlier games, I mean who wasn't, then Agalos does exactly what it says on the tin. It recreates not only the gameplay of that series, but it also has the character and charm. I enjoyed it a great deal. We kind of have this scale in our heads, Glenn and I, when we're grading each section. It's like, what did they want to achieve with gameplay? Okay, and how well have they actually met that? For me, I'd say probably about 16 out of 20, and there are the occasional times you may get lost. Also, I found the range of your weapon a touch short and would often get hit 
as gauging it was quite difficult. Controls are solid, they score 17 out of 20, and having a few more options regarding these, like perhaps a run button for example, wouldn't have detracted in my opinion from the experience. Visuals are exactly as expected. You look at them and you think, yep, this looks like a Wonder Boy clone, and you're right, that's exactly what they look like. That's not necessarily a negative in any way, shape or form. And in fact, many of the environments are beautifully colored and vibrant and you really feel like you're changing location. Thankfully, performance is on point, as you'd hope with this type of game, but it's not always the case. There are a good variety of different characters and the animations are suitably retro. The 16-bit pixel art style has definitely been done to death on the Nintendo Switch, but this is recreating something of our past, and it does it very well indeed. There's absolutely no denying that this game has fantastic audio. Yes, it once again borrows heavily from its inspiration, but it never feels heavy-handed or forced. Sound effects are serviceable if not stellar, and there are a ton of small audio details throughout the game. It's quite unusual to be feeling this level of nostalgia with something inspired by one of your favourite series, but not actually a part of it. They did an excellent job in terms of the audio. Visuals and audio score 18 out of 20. Which brings me on to value. Now the game costs £11.99 in the UK, €13.99 or $14.99 and it lasts around about 6 to 8 hours which is the perfect length for this type of experience. Now that being said, as we all know, there are some excellent games on the Nintendo Switch and ones that compete directly with this title at the same or even a lower price on sale. It's not an overly long experience, but it is nice they included the hard mode for players wanting that tough as nails challenge. After having spent a couple of weeks playing titles like Sekiro, Cuphead and even Katana Zero, it's been really nice just to sit back and chill with something like Agalos. For me, value is a touch expensive, perhaps it could have dropped a few pounds or dollars, and I give it 14 out of 20. So there we have it, a much more relaxed and calm review after all the intense and brutally challenging ones Glenn and I have had to do recently. If like me you're looking for a slight distraction or a little break and perhaps a trip down nostalgia lane, you could certainly do far worse than this game. Agalos is a faithful representation of its inspiration. It scores 79%. There are a few elements not handled as well as they could have been, but overall a very enjoyable experience. On the screen right now, you're going to see the name of the person who's won our Hellblade giveaway. I thought their comment was absolutely excellent, and I'm sure you'll join me in congratulating them. Thanks as always to all the Patreons, and for all things Switch all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers guys, see ya!